Uh, hey there, folks. Uh, Honky Kong here. Chilling with uh, Vice from uh, Skies of Arcadia Legends. So we're getting a Block 14 and uh, what was once a short voyage to find an Arc Whale has now turned into, well, being lost on a desert island. Well, deserted island. It's not a desert island. I mean, there's greens and water and stuff. But, I mean... Damn. Damn, damn, damn. The cat is gone. The girls are gone. Vice is all alone. All we can do is run around and explore. Oh, uh, I guess I could go up here first. Oh, well, no, we'll do that later. Um, excuse me a second. Oh, had to sneeze. That wasn't. Oh, gotta they do it again? Hang on. Ah, sorry. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything in here. So, uh, this is a lovely little island. Um, now the question is, what do we do here? Um, oh, hey, what's that over there? Hmm. Hello there. Um. Well, I guess I'm not the first guy to get shipwrecked on this island. From the look of his clothes, he was probably a sailor, too. You can tell that by the pink shirt shirt and pants he was wearing. Yeah. Looks like he's been dead for a long time. What tipped you off? There's something embroidered on his collar. Gonzalez. Hmm, I guess that was his name. Hmm? There's something in his pocket. It's a map. It's a little old. Maybe it's a map of this island. Hmm. There aren't any of the same landmarks. It's probably a map of a different island. Huh. Uh, it may come in handy someday. I'll just hold on to this map for a while. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'll give you a proper burial so you'll finally be able to rest in peace. There. Well, I guess I should find some high ground so I can check out the rest of the island. You see, what amazes me about that is, like, he talks like he just buried him or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Receive Gonzalez's map. Sorry, I had to yell at the cat. Little bastards everywhere trying to screw me up. But before we do that, uh, well, we can come back and do that later, actually. Uh, I did play ahead a bit. Without saving, because I, uh, there's, there's like a couple parts coming up where it can be a little lengthy because I just have to find crap and, uh, yeah. Stupid ass cat. Sorry, folks. Pardon me while I punch the cat. Going up to the top here. And, uh, that's quite a view. Uh, yep, it's, uh, well, it's deserted, all right. Well, I'm definitely on an island. And an uninhabited one at that. Yeah, he, he's a genius. Hmm, looks like a storm's coming in. I should find some shelter. There was a cave next to the spot where I buried Gonzales. You didn't bury him! Yeah, maybe I should check it out. Right, off to the cave. <laughs> Love the music for this place. It's depressing, but uh, it's nice. I like it. So anyway, we're going to head over here. Get to these caves over here. And, uh, there is one treasure on this island. Make a left here. And, uh, bam! Moonberry. That's awesome. It was totally worth getting stranded on this island. <laughs> yeah, if we can only find a way off. Oh, that's convenient. Shelter. I guess my friend Gonzalez had the same idea. Looks like he was living here for quite a while, too. Mm, mess that up. 
Well, it doesn't look like I have much of a choice, so I might as well set up camp in here and get some rest. Agreed. I'll just plop down here. I could have Fina, wherever you are, I, ho I hope you guys are safe. Yay. Mmm, pink bed. What's going on here? Whoa, 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 what? Oh, M, G. I can make him funny noises. He's got the hair down. Her and Fina underneath the covers with hearts on the pillow. Bow. Chicka. Bow. Wow. Amazing. But, uh, what happened, though? Seriously. Go away, beast. She looks so much better with the long hair. It's amazing. Yeah. How did we end up in this place? And where exactly are we? This place does seem peculiar. I don't see advice for Captain Drachma anywhere. I hope they're okay. Could you imagine Drachma with a ship like this? Hmm. Now that I, see that picture back there? Who's that picture of? It looks looks familiar. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> they're probably fine. They're both too stubborn to die that easily. Okay, that's not a horrible face, but I mean, still. Oh, that's better. Hmm. I wonder who saved us. Oh, hello. A third one to join the fray. Come on in. Oh, you're awake. Aren't you a cute one, too? There's no need to get up just yet. Let's see. What can I get you? How about a nice hot bowl of soup? Well, alright. Sure, that would be great. Oh, my name's Ika. And I'm Fina. Thank you so much for saving us. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Ika and Fina. You both have such pretty names. I agree now, actually. Ika is kind of nice now that it's of Aika. That sounds... Um, yeah. You two are lucky that I found your lifeboat. You we are both unconscious. What exactly happened? I love exciting stories. Mm, I don't know. I mean... Uh, no, oh, don't worry about it. If you don't want to tell me, I won't force you to. But by the looks of you, I'd say that you two are air pirates. Well, I don't know if I'd look at Fina and think that, but whatever. <laughs> Looks like I guessed right. You don't have anything to worry about, my dear. Because I'm an air pirate, too. Huh? What? Really? Yes, I am Clara of the Blue Rogues. Pleased to meet you. And we've come across another Blue Rogue. Nice folks. Ah, I see. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Vice is probably fine. I think she's still got her hair down. Uh, enjoy it while it lasts. You girls like him, right? Oh boy, she's got the wink. You have to have faith in your man. Um, yeah, <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Captain Clara! Why, hello, Miss Overly Sized Chess Girl Person. Captain, we'll be reaching Nazrod in a few moments. Okay, prepare for landing. We'll be landing in Nazar's capital, Nazrod, very soon. Nazrod is a very large city. Who knows? Maybe you can find out where Vice is while you're there. Or while we're there. Whatever. And that's her ship. Even like the, the 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 cannon ports or whatever have uh, like little hearts around them. She's a little nutty, but a good heart and all that. It's about time for me to set sail. It was very nice meeting the two of you. I'm sorry we couldn't spend more time together. Here, take this. It's only five thousand gold. Or gold, sorry, I was thinking of gold. What's gold is tales of tales of games. Right. Anyway. But it should help. 
Well, fuck yeah! Free money! Wow, really? Thanks for everything you've done, done for us. First you save our lives, then you give us gold. Don't give it a second thought. After all, I too am a blue rogue. Where are you going now, Clara? Me? Well, I'm going after the man I love. He's an air pirate too. He's a little on the wild side, but he's strong, smart, and so... Yeah. <laughs> Yummy! I follow him wherever he goes. I know that someday he'll come around and fall in love with me too. Isn't that romantic? She's a stalker. Um, sure. Well, I better get going. I hope we see each other again. Good luck. And there goes another ultra nice blue rug, even though she's a little nutty. Hmm. That was that was the nicest stalker that I've ever met. But at least it explains why her entire ship looks like a honeymoon suite. Honeymoon? Kind of figured you wouldn't know what that was. Don't worry about it. Let's go see if we can find a place to sleep tonight. Um, if it's anything like earlier... No, never mind. Honeymoon, here we come! And now look! We're controlling Aika! Whoa! Look at me, I'm running around in circles. My hair just like... Barely even moving. How does that even work? That just def um, that would require such an amazing amount of hairspray. It'd be ridiculous, or gel, or whatever. But it doesn't look like there's any hairspray or gel in it. Yeah. So anyway, Nazrad, big city. Um, oh, what are you two jokers? We are the Nazrad Artillery Guard under the leadership of Captain Kazim. We are defending the safety of Nazrad. Mm, excuse me. Ugh. Kazim is Nazir's best gunner. He's manning the wall above us. Oh, thank you, soldier. We are the Nazir Artillery Guard, leading the defense of Nazir up to us. The cannons are up top. Any enemy ships that get too close to the city, we blast out of the sky. That's reassuring. It'll come in handy later when, uh, oh, I don't know, something's gonna happen. That's what they talked about a little earlier. Probably something they're not thinking about right now. You know, if it wasn't for that hair, she'd look great climbing that ladder. Oh, well. See, she doesn't stay on top of the ladder like Vice does. She just, like, vaults over it. She's a, she's a champ sometimes. Well, hello there, biggin. It's so boring. When is Valua going to attack again? Well, he's ready for him. Um, they'll be attacking soon, don't worry. I am Nazar's top gunner, Kazim. If any enemy ships try to enter our port, I blow them away with this cannon of mine. Hurrah! But no enemies have attacked us in such a long time. I have nothing to do and it is killing me. Excuse me. Ever since I was assigned here, I have not had the chance to fire these cannons. I hope the chance comes soon. I don't think you have to worry about that. If what the Valuan said is true, it shouldn't be too long. Of course, I guess I could is not picking up on that. Like, hmm. Wants a chance to fight. Maybe I should tell somebody about. Eh, nah, nah, nah. Just gonna let it go. Mm. Okay. Um. What to do? What to do? There's a save point up here. Guess I could use that. Save points are good, yo. Now it's right port. Yay. What do you got to say? Hmm. I have moonstones for fuel, ten barrels of drinking water. Was there anything else I need to get before I leave? Um, food? Welcome to Nazrod, center of trade. Anything you need for your travels, you can get right here. You guys are sailors too, right? Maybe you guys should stack up on supplies while you're here too. Um, yeah. Sure, why not? Anybody else, what you got to say, fool? Five cases of kale in mid ocean sky sardis. Um, one, two, three. Please do not talk to me right now. Damn, you made me lose count. Sorry, damn. Are those kebabs? No, it's not kebabs. It's just like hanging fruit, tomatoes, apples, something. Um, is there anything over here? 
I think there's supposed to be... I mean, that's later. Uh, well, I'll go over here anyway, just in case. Maybe it's like a moonfish. Or not. Okay, fine, whatever. Pardon me. Ah, yes, I'm being unprofessional. No, I don't care. Don't like, don't watch. I love it when anybody that watches my videos enjoys my videos. But you know, this is made specifically for one person. Anybody else that enjoys it, it's just a bonus. And for those of you that are a bonus, so to speak, thank you for watching. The water is so cool and clear. Maybe I can take off my boots and splash around. Or maybe not. Oh, that might be kind of hot. Uh, wow, Sailor's Guild. I haven't been here in like five years or something. Wait, is it a guild? No, we know. Just a ship shop. Hey there. How goes the sailing? I have cans for all your destructive needs. Feel free to take a look. Well, um, actually, we don't even have our own ship right now. So, what are you doing in here? Window shopping? I don't like window shoppers. If you, buddy. Ah, the guild. Wait a minute. It's a wanted poster. Doesn't look like they have one for Vice. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, actually, that one on the left kind of looks like Vice. In fact, it really looks like Vice. Hmm. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Sailor's Guild. We pay very well for information on discoveries. We have no money and no ship. I don't think we have time to look for discoveries. Hmm. That may be a problem. If you have no money, you can always go to the money lender and borrow some. There's a money lender here in this town named Osman. Just look for the building with a picture of a pink cat. What? Okay. Lots to see and do in this town. None of which I did while I was here. Um, during my little test run earlier. Hmm? Boss's Das? Oh. I don't remember this. Wow, these silver plates are really cheap. But uh, I can't waste money now. No. Hello. Who are you? Welcome, welcome. Nazar's best cabal skewer, or skewers. Buy one as a gift. Buy one for your journey. Cabal skewers. Made with top quality mutton and flame roasted for a crispy outside and juicy inside. You will surely come back for more. Uh, I need money to blow. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, that dirty womanizing whore. Vice took all of our items and money. Damn it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wow. It's a miniature Dabu. That's so cute. This blue this blue stone is pretty, too. Are those monkeys bouncing around? A map or some memorabilia. There must be something that will offer me a hint about where the treasure is. I figured out that the island where Dakot hit his treasure has to be ne near here somewhere, but now I need something more specific. Hmm, okay. Hello. Hello, hello! Beautiful ladies, surely I have the weapon for you. I have the finest selection under the moons. Sorry, but I don't have any money at the moment. So unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, remember to come back again when your purse is heavier. Okay. Yay! Mm. Wow, look at the crowds. I'm from Maramba, and I do not think I've ever seen so many people in one place before. With merchants from all over the world, the place is full of things that I've not seen before. The big city really is a different world. I agree. Hello. Have you got a monkey on your head? Good day, good day. How about some nice, fresh fruit? How about some luscious, juicy fruit to quench your thirst? Buy some now, before the monkey eats it all. Scrumptiously delicious fruit. Stupid monkey. 
Wow, fresh fruit. You get thirsty a lot in Nazareth, so the fruit looks even better. Ah, uh, marketing. It's a wondrous thing. Uh, hello. Our clothing stall girl. Hello, hello. Look no further, young ladies. A dress or two is a memento of your trip to Nazareth? You have the dresses that will make any man succumb to your charms. Step right up and take a look. Anything revealing? Oh. I really don't remember this part of town. Oh, hey, chess. Self seat, alright. Was it the speed one? Um, if so, Fina gets it. Sweet! There you go. Hmm. No, oh, well, we can go to the end soon, so. Let's see, Fina's a little beat up right now, but she'll be okay. Pardon the silence moment as I eat my apple. Well, not done, but good enough for now. Okay, where else can we rob or loot here? Oh, hey. Is this the bar? Yay, a bar! All kinds of good things happen at bars. Damn it, talk to him. I heard the Empress of Valua was once a beautiful woman. Wow, I know that's a fairy tale right there. That's ridiculous. But that Empress is nothing but a power-hungry old hag now. I think that's the nicest thing I could have called her. Even the prince ran away from her. Hmm. Hello there. Welcome, young lady. Please, come in and relax. Nazar is the center of trade. We have beverages from the far corners of the world. Anything you may wish, we probably have. We ain't got it. You don't want it. Hello? Ah. The local and food just joined are pretty good. But the problem is that they lack pretty girls. Gazing into the eyes of that ruddy-faced tavern keep doesn't do much for their tired bones. You're gazing into his eyes? Hello, Thaler. Look, was he trying to show off his ass there? Ridiculous. Uh, oh well. Nothing up here. Let's march on. Um, um, um... Uh, I know I don't have to go up there, so I'm not going to bother. Looks like I go up there is Ica and Fina. To the west are two straits that connect to mid-ocean. If Valua were to attack, it would no doubt come by way of one of those straits. Most likely the South Danos Strait. But the strait is constantly guarded by Nazar's best na naval fleet. It is absolutely impenetrable. What about the North Danos Strait, you ask? Uh, a turbulent, turbulent sky rift t marks that place, or makes that place a death trap for ships. A ship that has not been built that can make it safely through the North Danel, so there is no need to guard it at all. Well, that's not a bad idea at all, is it? Mm -hmm. Apple. It's a Mike's getting too close. Sorry. It's a model of the Nazar Royal Palace. Whoever built this must be an excellent artist. I wish I could make something like this. Hmm. Observation tower above. Leave your handprint. I wonder if I can get a view of all the Nas of of all of Nasrad from up there. Maybe, maybe. Damn it. What the hell is this? Some kids are slopping around paint. It looks like random brush strokes. If you keep looking at it, it starts looking like something. I just can't figure out what. Ah. Modern art is crap. I do not get modern art at all. Apparently, you can just twist a piece of metal into something fucked up looking, and somebody's like, "Oh, bam! That's art. It's amazing." Ah, those are some awful big footprints. See those? Those are enormous. It's like a Bigfoot came through here. All right. Oh, this is... Never mind. Ooh. What's up here? Uh, 
Um, nothing, apparently. All right. Oh, hey, there's a chest down there. Down there. Weapon shop! Hmm? Hey, it's you! Mr. Nightcap! Oh, young lady! You were the girl that has been many moons. That's the guy we escorted to, uh, Nasrod way back when. It is I. You and your friend escorted me to the Nasrod border a, while, a little while back. Speaking of which, where is your friend? You know, the one with the eye patch. Are you not traveling with him anymore? Oh, you mean Vice? Well, it's a long story, but we were separated. Oh, I understand. Perhaps you had a, um, difference of opinion. Well, no, actually, that's not it. You don't have to pretend. It's that uh, the closer you are to one, the more they make you angry. Ha ha ha! That's kind of true. Well, here. Take this. I want you to have it. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Yay! Abric charm! Woo! I thought a moon, a moonstone shard as beautiful as this would be free for ladies such as yourselves. Sweet! Um. As soon as I find a save point, I'm going to try something. I read the charts right. Welcome to Nazar's weapon store. We offer the same mighty weapons that Nazar's soldiers use. Well, all right. Hmm. I'd like to buy some, but I don't have any money right now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, you cannot really buy anything then. Sorry, but please come back when your purse is a little heavier. Well, all right. I just might do that. Um, yeah, maybe I will go try something. Here in a bit. Let's see what's in the item shop. Hmm, hello there. Hello, welcome. This is the Nassaltan's very own item shop. We offer all kinds of high quality goods. Hmm, I'd like to buy something, but I don't have any money right now. I suppose that may be a problem. Well, please come back when you do. Why am I going to all the shops? I don't have any money. Stupid as hell. Anyway, we're pirates, damn it. Let's steal. Oh, we're blue robes. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, oh. Down here. Down here. The water's so cool and clear. Oh, I already read this one. Um, there was, like, a chest over here. No. Valuna Loca, huh? I bet it's hard to get Valuna Loca here in Nazar, so it's probably really expensive. Well, how the hell do I get back here? There was a chest. Excuse me. Um. Ask her, whatever. It's not one of the chams, and I got the Abirix, so. Okay, let's try something real quick. I mean, I can get these, like, anywhere, pretty much, but... Mm, sorry. But we have two charms. We're gonna use one. And I don't have the thing pulled up right now, so I can't really... Oh, wait, I don't have my charms! Fuck! Um... Okay, x on that for now. Come on! Talk! There we go. Welcome! This inn is 240 gold a night. Would you like a room? Um, we've actually been shipwrecked and we have no money. I'm trying to find a way to raise money, but... Ah, you girls look like good kids. I trust you. I will start a tab and you two can settle it when you leave, okay? No, well, sure, I'll stay the night. You can use the room all the way in the back on the second floor. I hope you sleep well. Well, thank you. Looks like we're going to be stuck in Nasrod for a little while. What are we going to do tomorrow? Well, I was thinking about looking for a place to work. We have to save up some gold. Let's put aside the money that we got from Clara. If we save up some more, we can buy a small ship and go looking for Vice. 
Oh my god, that face. What do you think, Fiona? So it goes in your face like, Hey! What do you think? Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Well, tonight let's just get some rest and hope for the best. That rhymed. Hmm. Hmm. But I wonder where Vice is, though. Oh. Vice, I wonder if you're looking at the same moon right now. Let's see, they're looking at the red moon, okay. That's kind of ominous looking, isn't it? Oh, hey, look, the red moon. Ike of Fina, are you looking at the same moon right now? I hope you're alright. Huh. 